You're tuned in to Popular Cruising and our review of Vikings, Viking Orion. The line's fifth ocean ship is mostly identical to its predecessors. It does have some surprises up its sleeves. I've now had the opportunity to sample most accommodations on the sister ships, starting with deluxe veranda staterooms. Which are quite spacious for entry-level cabins. All of which wonderfully feature private balconies. And back inside, convertible vanities are well outfitted, as are standard bathroom configurations. With delightful ample showers. that are perfectly repeated in penthouse veranda staterooms. A wonderfully wider category overall. And joining our teddy bears this time around to enjoy the extra space was our Viking friend, Eric. In fact, you can head on over to Instagram.com slash Popular Cruising to see even more of our adventures together. Increasing in size again are the Penthouse Junior Suites. On the Orion specifically, we enjoyed new spring toggle switches to dim the lights, as well as controllable thermostats for the bathroom's heated floors, which showcase even larger showers in this category. Or to have a tub and a shower, complete with a view, the Explorer Suites are great options. Including a master bedroom and walk-in closet. In addition to a separate living and dining room. Marvelous wraparound balcony. The only one I haven't stayed in myself is the largest owner suite. With sizable living and dining areas. As well as a dedicated master bedroom. And luxurious master bathroom. has its own scenic sauna and conference room with faux flames. Naturally, there are plenty of activities on board for everyone, like the Explorer's Lounge on the other side of that owner suite's cool fireplace. For observing wraparound scenery at the front of the ship. on one deck, but on two. The new Explorer's Dome here displaces some seating, but we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Viking's Observation Lounge remains one of the best ever at sea. And just above it all is the Sports Deck. with all kinds of fun outdoor games. The aforementioned dome itself is seen here. The space is ideal for leisure. Or just taking a stroll along the upper levels. That overlook the main pool that can be fully enclosed by a megrodome or entirely opened up. In order to take a refreshing dip under the sun. Or alternatively below and behind the smokestack, overlooking the ship's destinations, is the Stellar Infinity Pool. 
with a stunning translucent side cantilevered over the stern. Her submerged view is unlike any other. Or you can simply sunbathe from above. The Winter Garden is another great place to enjoy the sun. All while in the comfort of air conditioning. Splendid Scandinavian design. Or completely inside are puzzles and games at the atrium. Including fun electronic table varieties. And sandwiched between two amazing ship models is where you can book your future cruises. Either on the ocean or rivers. Across the way, the Viking Heritage exhibit serves as a great mini museum. Below from which is the Viking living room. The ship's dramatic central space, adorned by a digital rotating tapestry, and filled to the brim with a collection of library books and artifacts. There's even a complimentary internet station here for those who do not have their own Wi-Fi devices. And of course, an inviting guest services area. With Norwegian wardrobe freshly displayed. While these aren't for sale, there is other shopping available on board. Ranging from perfume to jewelry. There's even an excellent logo store. with other Norwegian clothing available for purchase. Just like above, the promenade deck is great for a full wraparound stroll. Sped up, of course, here for time. And if that wasn't enough exercise, there's also the fitness center. Stocked with a variety of equipment. As well as showcasing a motion studio. Just next door is the ship's salon. Expertly staffed with friendly crew. Also marvelously serviced is the Live Nordic Spa. 
its own bank of faux flames. And sublime therapeutic pull. And whirlpool. as well as soothing heated tile beds. Not to mention the ship's signature snow room, seen before any snow has actually fallen. And contrasting steam room, all for Nordic bathing, to alternate between hot and cold environments, including this icy water bucket. In the changing rooms, there's a dry sauna. Paired with a chilled plunge pool. As you would expect, dining is also a highlight on board. Starting with snacks and drinks at the Viking Bar. the crew is always on hand to give you a friendly wave, as well as plate savory treats, and pour favorites like this coconut lavender lemonade. The restaurant is the ship's main dining room, with patio doors that can open up to the outside promenade deck for an al fresco experience. while diving into gourmet dishes like these. Upstairs, the World Cafe Buffet serves mostly the same items, with the convenience of quicker self-service for those who would prefer. And when weather permits, here the outside patio doors open up to the outside as well. As seen here at the bar. Newly introduced here on the Orion is an a la carte serving station. But have no fear, this is an addition of Viking signature all-you-can-eat shellfish and seafood in the evenings. That can be enjoyed outside at the Aquavit Terrace. as can other delicious dishes for breakfast and lunch. And to get something to wash it down with, there's the pool bar. Opposite of which is the pool grill. and its expanded menu with delicious new items like these. Meanwhile, back at the Winter Garden Daily is tea time. With a large assortment of loose teas and pastries to accompany. And also with the return to the Explorer's Lounge, you'll find Paps the Explorer's Bar, in honor of Chairman and CEO Torstein Hagen's father. Just around the corner, Lomsen's Norwegian Deli is named after his mother. Serving wonderful waffles on beautiful dishware in the mornings.
and hearty split pea soup in the evenings. Also not to be forgotten is the excellent fare available from room service. Alternative dining is special on board for being available complimentarily, like at Manfredi's Italian restaurant. where the menu has also been updated with great courses such as these. Foodies will also enjoy the chef's table with its rotational set tasting menus. With some new and some classics, all following sensory themes like these. The kitchen table is the only dining option that incurs a surcharge. But since it includes a short excursion with the chef to a local market, an interactive cooking demonstration just off the galley, and a resulting dinner, the meal is certainly worth it. Especially for featuring the freshest regional cuisine. Entertainment on board begins at Torshaven. Where not only can you enjoy a great cocktail, but also wonderful live music, as indicated by this awesome light fixture. So just sit back and relax. We're taking a screening in one of two cinemas to watch a TED Talk or film. Also serviced with drinks is the Star Theater. home to live lectures and production shows. Still with fantastic portrait pillows. And seating that can creatively expand into the cinemas behind. Most impressively here though are that stage shows have greatly improved. Now featuring a pared down company of talented singers and dancers as well as a preferred live band over canned music. So kudos to Viking for overcoming what was once its only shortcoming. And per the ship's namesake, it was sure a treat to enjoy lecturing by the Viking resident astronomer. And by extension, the all new Explorer's Dome. A super cool planetarium for enjoying fascinating panoramic documentaries. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.